I'm Rock Mackey, co-founder of Tomotherapy. I will walk you through the steps in a typical tomotherapy treatment session and present a few sample cases. The session begins with patient positioning based on a 3D megavoltage CT image acquired from the same X-ray source that will later be used to treat the patient. As with a diagnostic CT scanner, our system uses a rotating narrow fan beam of X-rays where the source moves in a helical pattern around the patient. With our high-efficiency X-ray detector, a 3D image of the patient is produced with a very low dose, typically only 1 to 2 centigrade. The megavoltage CT image is automatically aligned with the CT image used for treatment planning. This step determines a 3D shift required to precisely position the patient for treatment. Often the tumor itself can be seen on the MVCT images. Once the shift is determined, the patient couch is adjusted accordingly. This procedure is quick enough and the patient dose low enough for it to be repeated on each treatment day. This gives clinicians greater assurance of correct daily setup. For treatment delivery, the same helical rotations of the X-ray beam source are used. This time, however, the intensity of the beam is changed rapidly during each rotation, according to the shape of the tumor, using thin tungsten leaves that block or unblock the beam. The 64 leaves in our unique binary multi-leaf collimator create tens of thousands of optimized 6 mm wide beam elements known as beamlets. This unique combination of a helically rotating beam source and beamlet-based delivery is what distinguishes a tomotherapy treatment from other forms of intensity modulated radiotherapy. Shown here are CT scans with overlaid structures and dose levels from a head and neck cancer treatment plan. The tumor indicated by the red outline is covered by the prescription dose, shown by the solid red color. The adjacent blue spinal cord and green parotid gland receive a very low dose. Our unique technique enables a sharp distinction between tumor dose and dose to nearby critical tissues. The parotid glands produce saliva, and maintaining their function after radiotherapy treatment has always been a difficult challenge. Here, a tumor in the pleura surrounding the lung is covered by a highly focused dose distribution that steers sharply away from the cord. Two or more tumors can also be treated simultaneously with tomotherapy. Treatment of the prostate and seminal vesicles while keeping dose away from the adjacent bladder and rectum is another challenge met by tomotherapy. In this leg sarcoma case, keeping the high dose region away from the right femur was a key objective. A technique known as total marrow irradiation, or TMI, can be used as preparation for a bone marrow transplant. With this exquisite dose sculpting, the brain, eyes, thyroid gland, lungs, heart, liver, kidneys, and small bowel are all protected. With TMI, the goal of white blood cell depletion is achieved, but with few gastrointestinal complications. <laughs>